Members of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors on Thursday morning commenced a nationwide strike despite federal government's last-minute efforts to stop the action. The resident doctors, however, assured Nigerians that the strike was not meant to hurt them. Recall that the federal government on Wednesday held a meeting with members of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors to avert their planned strike. The meeting was expected to... to to fix timelines for the implementation of the proposals and demands put forward by doctors who had threatened to embark on an indefinite strike from Thursday. Uh, we are now joined by uh, Dr. Chukujima Ejofo from Abuja. He uh, is the second vice president of the National Association of Resident Doctors. Uh, thank you very much, um, Dr. Ejofo, for joining us on News Now. Um, many Nigerians are surprised you still went on strike despite agreements reached with the federal government. Uh, could you please uh, shed more light on the reasons for this action? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, good to have me here. Um, you see, when you say you have an agreement, an agreement is uh, something that both of you have fully agreed upon and signed. In this issue, we had a proposition which we are yet to take to the National Executive Council of NAD. So I, I, I don't think it's proper uh, to have it being said that we have an agreement. It was a proposal by the government uh, of ways to address our issue, which we're still yet to take to the National Executive Council of NAD. And uh, that is yet to be done. Um, at this point in time, um, the strike started by eight a.m. this morning and um, our communique was very clear in the number one demand that house officers who were being owed ought to have been paid by the end of work, the end of official duty on 31st of March 2021 and that was not done it uh, beats the imagination for us to be called yesterday evening by around 5, 5.30 and we were there till after midnight and a lot of things were proposed and um, as part of the clause in, um, involved was for us to take it to the neck of NAD, which um, we're yet to do. So I'm... Um, quite surprised that um, somebody would say that we should call off a strike for a process that is not yet um, through. So please, that is a very, that is a misnomer, if I'm allowed to use that word. For now, uh, Dr. Ajo Four, um, most people would think that this is a critical time in the nation's health uh, due to the pandemic. Now, is there no other way to resolve these issues in a way that Nigerians would not pay the price? Well, um, we're, we're all Nigerians, um, we're all patients in this country. You're a patient too, everybody is a patient. We use the same local hospitals. My family uses the same local hospitals. Um, my parents too, my relations. So um, it's funny when people uh, think that we are not part of um, the entity called the Nigerian people. We're here, I've had COVID twice. And um, it beats the imagination to actually have a mind for more than a decade now, as a doctor in Nigeria, that we have been receiving 5,000 Naira as hazard allowance monthly to every health worker. When in this same country, people in office, people in authority are still receiving or have been receiving sums to the tune of 1.2 million naira a month for hardship allowance these are the issues that we see in this country and i believe nigeria should start asking themselves questions the health system has been down we've had a lot of brain drain ongoing our president is not here on the eve of a strike by doctors these are the things that you're meant to think about and uh, it's quite, it's, it, it's quite both unfortunate and infuriating at times when you look around you and the right thing is not being done. We have to fix this country 
We have to fix this health system. Now, um, Dr. Angel Fo, I'm very sorry to interrupt you there, the but um, just like your association have said, it's an indefinite strike, but we hope um, the government listens and uh, meets your demands in order to put an end to this strike. Uh, thank you very much, um, Dr. Angel Fo, for coming on News Now.